Two bullets had hundreds of people running for their lives during the July 4th festivities on the parkway on Monday. Tonight, police, pol police are still trying to figure out where those bullets came from. The NBC10 investigators are taking a closer look at the science behind that investigation and how it could lead to more answers. Here's investigative reporter Claudia Vargas. The law of physics says that whatever goes up must come down, including bullets. And it's going to come down based on what other variables there are, wind and weather and anything else that's going on. Just before the fireworks started on July 4th, a Philly cop and a Montgomery County Sheriff's deputy were each grazed by a bullet. Since then, police have been trying to determine where the bullets came from. Neither one of them penetrated their bodies. Firearms expert Emmanuel Kappelson, no puncture wound means the bullet had lost most of its velocity. This is, uh, from all appearances, someone firing a gun up in the air to celebrate the 4th of July holiday. It's a, it's a foolish and, and reckless thing to do. And Kappelson says the officers are lucky it was 40 caliber bullets likely fired from a handgun that struck them. There are many rifle bullets that will travel two and a half, three miles or so, so uh, and come down with uh, a lot more force. But even at the 1.25 mile distance that the bullets are believed to have traveled, it leaves a lot of ground to cover. The bullets could have been fired from Southwest Philly. They could have been shot from Mantra in West Philly. Mike Favetta is a forensic weather analyst. It's like weather CSI. He says that at the time of the shooting, the weather at the art museum was 82 degrees and the wind was blowing southwest at seven miles an hour. If the bullet was in fact shot up into the air, we know that the wind would have carried that projectile from the west or southwest. But pinpointing the exact location won't be easy. And police say that video from that night may help them solve the case, so they're asking for the public's help. If you have any video from that night around 9.40 p.m., please send it to Philly PD. At the Art Museum, Claudia Vargas, NBC10 News.